Well, guys, moving right along. We've got a big chunk of the front section done here today. Most of my time, uh, I stand here brainstorming and... Uh, oh, that's what you call it, brainstorming. Yeah, brainstorming. Stand here and brainstorm or, or forget where I'm at. <laughs> I think that's more likely dimension to set in. I, I forget where I'm at and I forget what I'm doing and I forget what the deal is. So it's one of the two things, I guess. But So we are at this stage now it's crazy it's coming together uh, it's time consuming to say the least to cut you know figure out what you need to do cut the strut grind all the gal galvanizing off of it which I'm not showing on camera and I'm not showing the cutting on camera because uh, it's just it's too it's too much see so you, you, you get a, a little bit of work done what looks to be a little bit of work, but in, in actuality, it's quite a bit of work, so. Oh, here's some advice for you guys. All I'm cutting is Unistrut, right? So, benchmark abrasives, your blades suck. I got two cuts out of this before it, it died and, and now it won't cut anything. Look at it says pipe, flat stock, rebar, angle iron. Come on. Evolution, your blade's a little bit better, but I only got about 12 cuts out of it. Both of these are going back to Amazon. That's ridiculous. I should be able to use one of these blades to do the entire project. All I'm cutting is Unistrut. I mean, it's super thin. I mean, it's galvanized, but that shouldn't you know, affect a carbide tip blade. That's the whole point of having these, isn't it? Is to be able to cut thousands of cuts and not have to buy a blade. You know, I would, I would guess to say at least 150 cuts minimum before the blades trashed. But no, I got two cuts out of this guy and 12 out of this guy and it's trashed. The whole freaking blade is trashed. Now you push it against metal and it just melts through it. So, <laughs> totally ridiculous. Both of those are going back. I'm gonna have to go back to the abrasive blades. I've only got one left and I'm gonna have to find uh, either a supplier or a source that has these or has a blade that will cut Unistrut without going dull after two to 10 cuts. It's ridiculous. Anyhow, guys, we will keep moving forward uh, on this structure assembly here on Rusty in the coming days, probably weeks, if uh, the pace keeps going like this. But, um, yeah. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care. And as always, I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.